Okay, so this is where we're at. This is where I'm at right now. I'm up about 2300. When the market opens up, this is gonna be like at least something between 8 and 10, I think. It, it's pretty gnarly. Um, today we're going holy short gold. Gold, maybe 11.30 today. Maybe. Maybe. So we're gonna find out in about six, four minutes how much I'm up right now. And then we're throwing a lot more ammo at gold. We are throwing a lot of ammo at gold. Holy Christ. Okay, market's about to open. We're gonna find out. Okay, time to go. Time to party. Recording? We are recording! But you know, they got, they the queue, and, but they got the call from the DOJ. Whoever the DOJ calls you, they actually call you and say, hey, hey, uh, 600 million. No, it's like opening up for 800 million. You know, they, they, they take a look at those They're negotiations. to what the, DO, the DOJ has wanted. Oh, I mean, that's 600 million. That's Deutsche, Deutsche Bank. That's Chuck Chain. Yeah, I'm not Chuck Chain. Deutsche Bank, they were like, I think Deutsche Bank thought that we actually were like, you know, the Department of Justice calls you in and say, hey guys, but it's up the uh, deck here. No, they say, here's the number. I mean, the negotiations that I've heard with the DOJ and these banks, they go like, hey, listen, you know, that guy paid 15 billion. Now we want 17 billion to do. Well, can you document it? We're the Great. US government. We don't do that kind of thing. Banks set up pretty good. You think? Well, we need rates higher. Banks need to go up. We right. need rates higher, and they oh, there's not highly. They're starting. Well, look, the, the, part of the, yes, but part of the Visa Mastercard rally was like that. You need a faux financial. Who said faux oh, faux oh, faux? Oh, you remember? Moses Malone. Come on, man. Oh, no. I'm right with you. You're good. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Dow right now. I just want to point it out here. It's a, a gain of 141 points. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average right now is at 17,336. Do you think that's a little bit given the fact that the Fed played a role? 
I mean, shouldn't we do a Fed adjusted that the Dow right now is at 12,348? Shouldn't we affect the Fed adjust the Dow? Or do Some you people think, think we should. Well, do you think that because people own stocks and they made a lot of money and it's only fair that we actually use the real Dow, not the Fed adjusted Dow? I rest my case. Case made. Thank you. Not at an all time internet high just yet. Keep an eye on 17,350. That's the number we need to top on the Dow to be at a new all-time intraday I Just about there, a couple points shy of that. You see that no, it's SRB a publisher sheet, man, there's a lot of green. Even the, the baddies are moving up. Even companies that have just been bought. Facebook report that you talked about with Stephanie Link. I didn't like that actually. Twitter, well, do you have Twitter? Twitter's up 1.5%. Really? Maybe, that, maybe the last firing was a good firing. Well, maybe they fired someone since the show started. Now, they have an analyst day in a couple of weeks. Where that's just going to be critical. Right, and they better lay out a $10 billion scenario about how they can be good. And they've got to be able to stop shuffling the debt. I mean, we need a couple days there where Twitter, where it's just quiet, where the only thing they do is tweet. Where they have the chief tweet, tweet. That would be a really? of goodness. Here's there we go. Much better. Uh, since we're on the, the topic of Twitter and social media, yes, some of these stocks are so far below their all-time highs. So you talk about the sales forces? Uh, we're well, talking about Twitter's down 44% from its high. LinkedIn, which we were talking about earnings, right. down 19% from its high. Yelp, down 43. Group Yelp, down 50. 43. Group line, group line. Pandora, down 50. Pandora, Bancorp. King Digital, down 52. Shit, Pawn Digital, horrible quarter. Zynga, down 60. Miserable quarter. Like a pattern. Who loves a pattern? See, if you do really badly and you screw it up and you miss the quarter and you do horribly, horribly your stock goes down. I say it's only fair. You can blame the Fed. I see these guys that blame uh, the Charles Plus. It's Stanley, it's Stanley Fisher. Then. All right, here we go. Notice as well that Dow did get a new uh, all-time future day high. Will you look at the, look at the companies that are doing well? I mean, will you look at what a 3M can do here? Well, look at what these do. Even Boeing, which everyone decided was a terrible quarter, is moving up. Boeing, stuck 133 down to 121. GE is up 2.37. GE is up. So, I mean, you know, just playing off your, your industrials. But the industrials uh, are the oh, unsung heroes of this reporting period. They turned out to be doing it. They were the ones that were most pushed down because people felt that Europe, Asia were going to be weak. And those were the ones that came in with the most compressed multiples, and they're the ones that really have surprised. Because they, you know, look at Dave Cody when he's done at Honey Club. I mean, the guy is like, what's that thing? Where is that thing? 97 bucks. 97, 97 bucks. Not only that, but when we threw a rager, when me and my kids had a rager next door to All right, we're going to find out.